Welcome back, Trackies. Another welcome because it's another video topic, right? So this time around, it's time for some excitement, some fast races and some fun, some crazy wild predictions, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes I'm a bit wild with my predictions. <laughs> so let's see. But you know, the Lausanne Diamond League will be coming up on the 26th of August. And, you know, it has a lot of fire clashes that will be coming up with the top athletes across each event. And we're loving it. Obviously, I'm going to be focusing here on the races with Jamaican interest. So kicking things right off is the 100 meter hurdles for the woman. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share my screen right now and I'm going to show you, you know, what exactly or who is in the lineup for this particular race. And then of course, I'm going to break down or, you know, not necessarily break down, but give you my thoughts and opinions as it relates to what could possibly happen in this particular race. So right off the bat, we have Nia Ali, we have Toby Amerson, we have Brittany Anderson, we have Jasmine Camacho Quinn, we have Kendra Harrison, we have Alicia Johnson, we have Kambunji, uh, I think it's Detaji, forgive me if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, and of course, Nadine Visser. Now, I don't want to sound a bit biased, but I'm going to be focusing on the top six that I just listed, which is Nia, Toby, down to Alicia Johnson, right? Or Alicia Johnson, sorry. No, Nia Ali, as we know, she would have been the defending champion for the 100 meter hurdles, you know, at Oregon Pass. But something really unfortunate happened to her and she literally fell in her race in the the at the world championship so she was pretty much out i think it was from the heat it was crazy she didn't have an opportunity to you know defend her title and we know that was recently won by toby and of course she smashed the world record in the heat but before we get to toby though nia ali i think she has a point to prove she has yet to you know give us that race and i you know nia is somebody that always turns up and she has a season best of 12.49 so i know she can go much faster so i'm expecting nia to you know really come out strongly and challenge and show the world what you know could have been possibly if you know such an unfortunate incident did not happen for her at the world championships moving on to toby amazon why may i tell you i said toby the panel rule you know, she went to the world championships, obviously, and she won that, smashing the world record, running 12-12, 12, 12, 12, right? And, you know, it didn't stop there for Toby because since then, she's gone on to, you know, the Commonwealth Games, a place that was very cold, you know, from reports that I've been hearing. And, you know, Toby would have been used to, in my opinion, I suppose, you know, warmer weather. So this wouldn't be, you know, weather that would be, you know, typical for her, even though she trains over in the United States, still wouldn't be typical weather for her, in my opinion, right? But she still went to the Commonwealth Games and ran 12.30, one of the fastest times ever. Right. So that tells you that the caliber or, or the league that Toby is in right now. Well, obviously, she's the world record holder. Right. So she's in a league all to herself. But it wasn't a fluke. That's the point I was trying to make, make out. You know, um, we saw Michael Johnson, unfortunately, with his unfortunate post saying, you know, we have to check these signs to see if they're accurate, blah, blah, blah. Sounding like a bunch of biased nonsense to me. However, Toby went out in less than ideal weather, in my opinion, and still dropped at 12.30. And she didn't look like she had such a good start for me in that race. So to pull out at 12.30, moving away commandingly from the field, Toby, for me, is definitely the one to beat in this race. I don't really think anybody's going to be beating her this season, but let's see. You know, the race is not won until it's run. Anyway, Next up is Brittany Anderson, our darling, obviously. Brittany Anderson, the silver medalist from the World Championships. And, you know, Brittany has been on fire this year, obviously running a national record also in the uh, 100 meter hurdles at the championships as well. So she's on complete fire. 
And Brittany, I'm expecting, you know, to go out there and run a really solid race, less pressure than it was at the World Championships to perform. And I'm thinking that this time with a good start, because we saw that she got a good start uh, in the World Championships and it has been getting better, thankfully, because that's what we've been dying to see from Brittany over the years is, and she's so young and I'm saying over the years, it's so weird, right? But Brittany, we've always been saying, you know, get a better start. You need a better start. And she's been getting there. We know she always has a strong finish. So I'm expecting Brittany to be right up there challenging, obviously, for the win. And hopefully we will see Brittany get a faster time as well. Faster than that 12.31 uh, and, you know, smashing again our national record. Now, there is Jasmine Camacho Queen. She would be the bronze medalist from the World Championships. But not only that, she was the Olympic gold medalist. So she's been walking around, you know, with a chip on her shoulder. And, you know, I guess when you're a champion, uh, I suppose it's okay for you to, you know, want to always win. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, let's see. She thinks that she can take down uh, Toby. She will be right up there with Brittany as well, challenging for that first place. And I think it's going to be a really, really tough race, honestly. And it's going to be fireworks, obviously, right? So let's see what, what Jasmine can do uh, in this particular race. You know, she thinks that she can chomp or, you know, she put too much pressure on herself in the World Championships. Let's see on the less pressure if she can come out and top Toby. On to Kendra Harrison, former world record holder. 12.20 was the world record before uh, Ken, uh, Toby smashed that into smithereens, right? So here we have Kendra also. She finished outside of the medals at the World Championships. And she will be looking to see if she can, you know, maybe write some wrongs. I don't really know if there are any wrongs to, 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 to write because the, the race was just so stacked and everybody had such good quality that anybody could take it on that day, save maybe Toby. But for the rest, because Toby was just that much better than everybody else. But for the rest, I'm thinking that they're, you know, you know, they could chomp each other on any given day. So Kendra is right there with everybody else, you know, going to see if she can also, you know, win this race. And of course, Alicia Johnson, she was, you know, the girl that came up with a bit of fanfare. And unfortunately for her, she smashed her first hurdle, you know, similar to Nia, although for Nia, it was the end of the race. For Alicia, it was literally the first hurdle and she went no further in the 100 meter hurdles at the World Championships. So she obviously wants to come out and try to right a few wrongs as well that happened to her and see if she can beat some of these girls and show that, hey, if I was actually in the finals, I may have gotten a bronze or a silver, even though history will never remember all of that. But, you know, for her own personal growth and development, it would she it would do well for her to, you know, come out and, and do respectable amongst the medalists and the persons that were there leading the field at the World Championships. Ah, oh, with that being said, track is, wow. This race is very hard to call. Obviously, I want Brittany to win. I always want Brittany to win because she's Jamaican. I'm always going to want the best from her. But I just don't see anybody beating Toby this season. Tell me in the comment section what y'all think. Do you think it's possible for Toby to be save any accidents? No, we're not wishing for anybody to hit any hurdle, anybody to fall over. We're not hoping for that. I'm saying, you know, based on technique, speed, everything do you think somebody can beat toby in this particular race i am not thinking so i think everybody else will be fighting for the lesser places but let's see obviously i'm giving Brittany the second maybe i'm a bit biased i don't know but she is the silver medalist from the world championship so quite right in the, rightly she deserves a second in this race in my opinion and that's what i'm giving to her um who knows? Again, she may be able to win because you never know what will happen on the given day and who turns up because obviously it's who turns up more ready and more prepared that will take the race, right? I'm just thinking in my mind that Toby is just that much better than everybody else. And yeah, so for me, Brittany, I'm giving second. And I'm also still going to give uh, Kamacha Queen that third place because you know she's been she's she has been looking good after the world championship as well and again as i said she is running with a chip on her shoulder because she believes she could have 
beat Toby in Oregon. I don't know how, but let's see. <laughs> let's see what happens. But I think this is going to be a really, really, really fire race. And I think y'all need to note it down as one of the races to watch. Nia Ali, Toby, Brittany Anderson, Jasmine Camacho, Queen, Kendra Harrison, Alicia Johnson. Those are, you know, six of the best athletes in the world right now. And by six of the best, I'm not trying to say, you know, oh, some of them are listed 30th down. No, I mean, in terms of personal best, we have uh, 12, 12, 34, 12, 12, 12, 3, 1, 12, 2, 6, 12, 2, 0, 12, 3, 5. Now, some of these personal bests were not done this year, but they are still not far off from these personal bests, right? The only two, I think only two persons in this list didn't do their personal best this year, or is it three? Let me see. So we have Nia Ali didn't do her personal best this year. Um, we have Kamacha Queen not doing hers this year, and we also have Kendra Harrison not doing hers this year. But again, when you look at the distance between their personal best and you know their season best, they're not that far off. So they're literally the best of the best right now in the 100 meter hurdles. And I'm expecting a really, really, really fast race from these girls. Track is sound off in the comment section below. What do you think is going to happen in this race? Do you think Brittany stands a chance of winning it, clinching that win from Toby? Or are you like me and just think that, you know, Toby looks like she's just that much better than everybody this season, technically, uh, over the hurdles? Sound off. And as usual, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in another one.